Hey guys, um, this is Vicky Raymond's YouTube channel, so I will be doing a hair tutorial for shoulder length hair with lots and lots of, as you can see I've got like lots and lots of layers in. So I am going to leave Evans tonight, so I wanted, and I do have a dress on, as you can see, so I don't get any makeup down it, as you can see, it's pretty, um, just so I don't get any makeup down the front which I'll be doing later, I'll be doing another makeup tutorial um, yeah, so I'm aiming for like a 70s high school kind of chick really so, which I did in a picture I can find it where is it? yeah, I went to go and see Relative Values in London and I kind of went for a kind of high school chick look, which is kind of like there. You can see it. You can't really see it, but I went for a high school chick look. Might be my photo stream. Hold on. Hold it on, on, on. No, it's not. It's not there. Okay, but I kind of went for a high school chick chick look. But so this is going to be like a more kind of advanced version. So let's get started. So I have three brushes. I have kind of the roll brush which will help me kind of get all my stuff up. Comb to tease my hair to make it look a bit messy and to sort out my bangs. Look at my bangs, they're awful at the moment. And I've got like a I call it like a mega brush. <coughs> mega brush. But I've just washed my hair and I've just straightened it. But I've left it a bit damp because it won't stay out. But I must say you need to have Weller Silver Crin Stronghold Maximum Hold hairspray to keep it in place. I used Carmen Hair Hair Straighteners. From Argos, and um, I used Head and Shoulder Shampoo with Avon Cosmetic Conditioner to make it all nice and soft. Yeah, so let's get started. So you wanna for this hair, you wanna kind of part it here with your fingers, thumbs. Sorry. And then you want to kind of gather it up because I have really laid hair and it will fall out if I just go chuck it up. So then you want to use your roll brush from Avon as well to like scoop it into your hand. I turn it on. So like, I can't see. So like scoop it all in your hand. Hold on. Sort hands. I don't know if you can see me. And then you just want to keep scraping it until it looks quite neat at the fr front. Like, like so. Like this. So it's all literally scooped to the into your hand. You must keep it in your hand and then use your makeup brush which is from a pair to shove it right up and you want it to about sit about here about the crown of your head. This may take a few minutes. Hold on. Here we go. get all the knots out. Swap back to the roll brush. Sometimes you want to put your head to the front and make it a bit easier. So like that. It looks quite flat at the moment but don't worry. And then get your hairband and you want it quite tight at the moment. It doesn't matter if you look mega messy because you kind of want it bouncy. 
Ugh. There we go. So it looks a bit kind of up there. 70s. You may want to use one or two hair bands depending how strong you can comb it up that high. Woo! You know. Um, so then you just want to brush your front bangs. I've got quite big side bangs which kind of helps because you want it to sit literally here. Or like you want to style it in a way which makes you look a bit mysterious. I tend to go for the mysterious part. I'm wearing Richie Austin's. Hold on. Richie Austin's mm, uh, fighting neuroblastoma. They're a pound each. Yeah, they're a pound. Or like you have to pay more for posting packages. But I think I'm going for another hairband. It feels quite strong, but don't want it to fly out. If you're meeting people. So I'm going to put another one in just to make sure. There we go. So it looks... If I just tilt the camera. So it looks quite up there at the moment. I like... Oh, you can see in the background. Hey. So if you can see in my back mirror, it looks, it's got a lot of height to it. And it's quite large. My hair is quite layered, so it looks a bit choppy. Put me down in a minute. Uh, what's next? Hold on. Oh, yeah. Boom. You want to tease? your hair, so you just literally, ooh, ooh, that looks scary, hold on, that looks really scary, oh, what's up, so you want to keep, you want to do that for about a couple of them, and then kind of comb it, do it into the side, I'm going to kind of like gently just comb it to not let all the T's out. Gently. Zhuzh it. I don't know why I said zhuzh. Just want to. And then when you feel comfortable with other the height of your 70s, kind of your 70s look. Sorry about that guys, I don't know what happened, but if you keep shooting it and then when you're happy with the height, so see mine's quite, you want to maybe just push it up, keep teasing, see mine's quite high now, hold on, so mine's quite high, so there we go. So if you've got like flyaways like mine, they go everywhere, you just want to either clip it back with a bobby pin or one of these metal, but I find these ones strong enough, they don't fly out. There you go. And then I find the bobby pins easier for underneath. I have to use quite a few because I get quite a lot of flyaways. Oh, there we go. And then I have to have like three or four, but try and get them one nearer to your hair colour. So my hair colour is quite blue and black. Oh, black in this light. I need to get another bobby pin. So yeah, I'm at, currently at the Hippodrome at the moment, doing Magic in the Music, and I will do another hair tutorial of what like, I do for that. So you want to use your Maximum Hold hairspray, 
because you want to keep the height throughout the night and it and you won't get a chance to go to the loo and well you will get a chance to go to the loo and zhuzh it a bit but you can't really carry a hairspray in your bag can you so no sticky so we put that back you don't want to use a lot because otherwise it'll be a devil to get out afterwards and you just want to go to bed there we go that'll be alright so you want to get that amount of height you want to keep it quite scruffy so there so now you want to deal with your bangs so I tend to go for tend to scrape it there make sure you don't have any kind of gaps otherwise you look like you've got a bull patch and then I kind of gently make sure it goes over your eyebrow and like if you have any spots like it makes you look like a weird sort of it's like you've got red nose or something and you just gently scrape it use your hands sometimes just to give it a bit more volume and then you use a bit of hairspray or you can use like a water but I find hairspray is much easier so, and that will stay in place but with flyaways so I've got quite a lot of flyaways so if you just go with me one sec elbow ouchy so I just wet my hands a little bit and I just gently make sure that I've got all the flyaways and then you want to use your comb just to gently put it down so there you go so that's a bit of a 70s look Or you could put like a really cute, what I'm going to do is going to put a really cute one of these in from Claire's and they're about £8 each. Depends which shop you go to, they normally do quite a lot of deals. I think I've got this one for free, which is quite nice. So you want to gently tie it round, this may take a while, bear with me, so I'm still getting used to Tying this thing round. And you just want to hold it down. You might catch your hair in, in it, but that's fine. Don't worry. You want to pull it quite tight because you don't want it to look a bit weird. So you tuck it underneath. So it's like that. And just push your hair out over the top of it. See it? Stuff caught it out. Sorry, I just hurt my. So you want to do it like that. Just do it more of teasing. Make sure it doesn't look chunky or anything. So yeah, there's my hairstyle. And then if you want to, if you're crazy a bit like me, go into the can add like a DVD glasses. There you go. Hope you liked it.